Good morning. Introductions are really funny. They pay me $60, so I wore a tie. <laughs> How many of you own a, an Apple? Any? Or just any personal computer? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to sell those 10 million computers in 86, whether they look like a piece of shit or they look great. You know, by 86, 87, pick a year, people are going to be spending more time interacting with these machines than they do interacting with their big automobile machines today. People are going to be spending two, three hours a day sometimes interacting with these machines. So we had three options. One was to do nothing. And as I mentioned, we're all pretty young and impatient, so that was not a good option. The second one was to put a piece of garbage computer in a book. And we can do that, but our competitors are doing that, and so we don't need to do that. <laughs> the, the third option was to design the computer that we want to put into the book eventually, even though we can't put it into the book now. But we're solving the problems of injecting some liberal arts into these computers. That's what we're trying to do right now. Let's get proportionally spaced fonts in there. Let's get multiple fonts in there. Let's get graphics in there so that we can deal in pictures. And where we've got to get to is where people three, four years from now are using these things and they go, wasn't this the way it always was? The fact that computers and society are out on a first date in the 80s. We have a chance to make these things beautiful and we have a chance to communicate something through the design of the, the objects themselves. We feel that for some crazy reason we're in the right place at the right time to put something back. And what I mean by that is, um, is, is most of us didn't make the clothes we're wearing and we didn't um, cook or grow the food that we eat. And we're speaking a language that was developed by other people. We use a mathematics that was developed by other people. We are constantly taking. And the ability to put something back into that pool of human experience is, is extremely neat. And I think that, that everyone knows that in the next 10 years, that's, we have the chance to really do that. And we can look back, or, or, and while we're doing it, it's pretty fun too, but I mean, we can look back and say, God, we were a part of that.